skies of the Dutch schoolmaster Nathan headed for a long island island on September 12, 1776. He was eager to perform his mission. I am sightseeing before school starts. Will you pick me up in a few days? Sure. Just signal from school. They are moving out. Wait. Nathan went right to work. They are moving out. What are you doing? Little did Nathan know the British were headed for Lower Manhattan. They wanted New York City as their headquarters. Nathan's mission came, came too late to warn General Washington. Take the decision. New York is ours. But the British soon had a surprise of their own. A few days later, on September 21st, they were shocked when New York City was burned. Look at the flames. How did the fire start? I bet Washington's, Washington's soldiers set the fire. The next day, Nathan waited for his boat to, come, to return. I don't think the British suspected a thing. How can I take this information back to, I mean, to, General, to General Washington? Oh no, that's a British ship. Stay calm. Just a minute, just a picture. British soldiers, soldiers were looking for anyone who might have started the New York City fire. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am a dope school master. Set, set the fires. What? Wait, wait. I can prove I'm a schoolmaster. My Yate diploma is in my pocket. Tell your story to the commander. We know you're a spy. British soldiers thought just about everyone was a spy. They had already jailed 200 men. Nathan was taken to the British headquarters. And General William Howe questioned him. Give, give an account of yourself. I am a, I am a Dutch schoolmaster. I have a diploma to prove it. Oh, he was something hidden in his shoe. How would the schoolmaster find notes and maps of his shoe? I think, I think he was spotted. I am honest, soldier, sir. I was, I was proud to do. I was proud to be. Doing my duty. How was surprised at Nathan's honesty. He talked with his aide John Montreal about what to do with his prisoner. I've never had a spy in it before. What should we do? He he's young, I doubt that honest but just good. His serious his action words. Spies were were hanged, but Monch Monch suggested a way how we <coughs> might spare Nathan's life. You have admitted to being a spy, but you may yet save your life. Sign this pledge of loyalty to King George. Never. No loyalty to your country or your king. I am an American. Then you are sent sentenced, sentenced to be hanged. The execution will take place tomorrow. Nathan spent his last night writing letters. Dear and not, tomorrow I will die for my country. But the British did not allow the letters to be delivered. <laughs> Thirty-five. You'll never. You'll die like the dog you are. With the rope around your neck. At eleven in the morning on Sunday, September the twenty-second, seventeen seventy-six, British soldiers marched Nathan to a nearby apple orchard. British Ma Major William Cunningham put the news around the news around Nathan's neck. Have we any last words? I only regret that I have, but when my 
to lose from our country. Thank you, Abel. They've been hung lifeless from the tree for several days. The British wanted his body to serve as a lesson to the continental army. That's that spine would be hung. Word of Nathan's death soon reached the continental army. I can't believe it. No one an officer. At the very least, he deserved a crown. Perhaps we should end the practice of spying. Stop spying. General Washington. No, we're we're no match for the British unless we can learn of their plans. In 1778, George Washington asked Captain Benjamin Tom Mitch to set up a spy network. America's first spy ring became known as the Hopper King Ring. All of our work must be secret. Our code is our code name is Samuel Hopper. We will use an invisible ink for any letter we write. I was a man. Thank you.